I want you to know about a new feature in Google Photos called Undo Device Backup. Now, this is not a feature that you're going to use very often, if at all, but if you worry about your Google account getting full and you don't want to pay for more, this will ease your worries that you can do an undo device backup. So the point is you've backed up from your phone to a Google account in the cloud. Change your mind. I mean, I say it's because your account's getting full, but there could be other reasons. You can now undo that backup. So what am I talking about? Backup means a copy sent from the phone to the cloud in your Google account. Let's say you have 3,000 photos on your phone and you complete your Google Photos backup. You now have 3,000 photos in your Google account. Let's estimate that they take up 10 gigabytes of storage space. You only get 15 for free and that covers Google Photos, Gmail, and Google Drive. So if you fill that up, you won't be able to use Gmail either. When this has happened in the past, people start deleting their photos from the cloud and that is a can of worms because generally when you delete, you're deleting both the cloud copy and the phone copy. Also, you might be deleting photos that went up there when it was free unlimited storage and deleting them makes no difference in your account. So that's where this new feature comes in. Those 3,000 photos on your phone you back them up, you now have 3,000 photos in the cloud in your Google account. You still have the same 3,000 photos on your phone. If you use undo device backup, it will see those 3,000 and remove them from the cloud. So now that you have the concept, let's actually look at an account. I'm gonna use our imaginary friend, Alan, and he has been backing up his phone and I go to his Google account, photos.google account on a web browser and I see this message, almost out of storage, 98% used. If you run out, you can't back up your photos or send and receive in Gmail, unlock storage discount or manage storage. So I would say, just pay for more. It's only $20 a year for 100 gigabytes. But let's say Alan doesn't care that much about his phone photos. They are not precious to him. He takes his good photos with a real camera and puts them on his computer. So now we're going to go look at his Google account on the phone. Google Photos. This is Alan's account that we're looking at. And he turned off backup because he saw this message getting full. He said, oh no, I gotta turn off backup. I wanna turn it back on just for you to see what it looks like. Turn on backup. The, there's an up arrow and the line is going around his icon. And it's saying backing up 252 items left and you can see this number of the storage space being used going up and up and up. So where is that undo device backup? It's under photos settings, backup, and it's down at the bottom. Undo backup for this device. Delete all backed up photos from this device in Google Photos without deleting anything from your device. I'm going to tap that. Before you continue review, you will undo backup for this account. Any photos on your device won't be deleted. All photos currently on this device will be removed from Google Photos. These all photos will also be removed from albums, shared albums, search results, and memory. That's an important one to know. You're deleting these photos from your Google account means anything you did with them in your Google account, what they will be deleted from as well. Photos and videos in locked folder will also be included. Backup will be turned off automatically when you delete. You have to click that you understand all that, then delete Google Photos Backup. And it's working. Okay, so it's done. That did not take long. Let's look 
five gigabytes used out of 15 gigabytes. That's great. And I can check it on the web version as well. And now this still says almost out of storage, but I just have to refresh. And now that message is gone. My 2000 photos are no longer available in here, but they're still on the phone. That is undo device backup.